lives about two hours north of us. He has a, you know, he's one of those guys that, this is really the thing. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Not the gumdrop buttons! <laughs> Come on, GG! We have what to do! Give it down over there, I'm trying to work. I'm gone! So this one's out of, a, out of a Dakota, and this, that one's out of a Dakota, and this one's out of a... What was it? 80? D100? Uh, yeah, the new one is out of an 80 D100. This one's out of a Dakota. The threads look like they're there, but they're not. Well, this is the fifth time we will bench bleed a master cylinder and try to bleed the brakes, so. And there was only one place within 200 miles of St. Louis that had an upper ball joint. 74, 73 to 76 upper control arm A body, 73 to 76 A body lower control arm, lower ball joint, 73 B-body spindle with 72 B-body calipers with 73 B-body rotors. This, where the hose goes in, hits the lower control arm right here. What you doing? Well, for the 47th time today, I'm changing a master cylinder. Happy Friday. <laughs> This time on JJ Speed Shop, we finally get the Barracuda back on our, all four wheels. We're going to show you how to do a disc brake conversion. Uh, since we put the 8.8 in the back, we need to put disc brakes on the front. And Mopars get all kind of wonky. My advice would probably buy the kit. There's one on eBay that's like a thousand bucks. Instead of trying to run through old parts that some people have, some people don't. Uh, but this will show you how to put disc brakes on, a, on an A-body Mopar. I always forget to say it, but if you like our videos, please give us a like and consider subscribing. The next step, we're going to throw a 383 in this, and I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, we also have some t-shirts coming. Uh, let us know if you want some of those, and if you have any ideas on future stuff, just leave a comment down below. Thanks. The other part of the 8.8 uh, .8 conversion is we're going to do the front brakes as well, because you can't have discs on the back and drums on the front. That's just probably not a good idea. Nope. These cars didn't have disc brakes on them. And if you did, it was a 5x4 instead of 5 on 4.5. So we're using some calipers, rotor, spindle from, I believe these are 73 B body. The big difference is the upper control arm has a small, uh, what are they called? Ball joint. Ball joint. So, Auto City Classic up there in Minnesota has these ball joint adapters. 40 bucks, and they overnighted it to me so we could get this done. Really cool of them. Shout out to Auto City Classic up there. In, I think it's Ithaca, something with an I, Minnesota. But we're going to take these off. We also got new lower ball joints uh, from a 73 to 76 A body. I think they're different as well. But we're going to try to get these brakes out of here. So this is why you get the 73 to 76 A-body disc brake lower ball joint. So this is the one that came on our donor car. That's for a B-body or an E-body. And the arm is quite a bit longer than an A-body. And then for the, the other one, the drum that came off of this car, the bolt spread is different. Let's see if I can line these up one-handed. See, the bolt spread's different. The bolt holes are bigger, but the arm's the same. So it keeps it all basically the same. That's why you use that for a disc brake. Also, make sure you get B-body disc brakes. The other set were C-bodies. They look the exact same. They're just 11 and 3 quarters instead of 11 inch rotors. Fun fact. One week later. So if you can believe it, it's a week later. We, uh, we really tried to get the Barracuda going, but... Uh, we kind of ran out of time, and there was only one place within 200 miles of St. Louis that had an upper ball joint for a small bolt pattern, or the smaller A body, the early ones. And then when I took the old one out, 
it stripped all the threads out of the upper control arm, so that that little spacer bushing thing, the adapter thing, isn't just it's just not going to work. But our buddy Conley, he lives about two hours north of us. He has a, you know, he's one of those guys that this is really the thing. If you have a Mopar, you need to have Mopar friends, and uh, they have a bunch of stuff. So he had a set of basically brand new. The ball joints are good. The the bushings are good. I mean, there you go. 73 to 76 A body upper control arms. He just randomly has a set. Just like, hey man, do you have any Hemi cylinder heads? Yeah, I've got like four of them. Hey, do you have any big block K members? Yeah, I've got like seven of them. You need friends like that, you know? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna try to get this on and get the rest of this going. The 8.8 is in there. Uh, just need to seal the back up and put some fluid in it and then we'll throw this these guys in get the disc brakes going and then order some calipers and rotors and you know spend 400 more dollars you know is it in frame the car it's all going to be fast forwarded anyway <laughs> You want to see it? Can you kind of see it? The threads look like they're there, but they're not. You try to screw that in there, it it will not catch at all. I lost the lock washer. Probably on camera. Where my dumbass put it. And now, look at that. That is an A body with B body disc brakes. Well, the spindles, you know. Oh yeah, look at that, black shiny rust.
weeks later. Big surprise. It's, uh, it's two weeks later now. And uh, we ran into some issues. We were waiting on calipers to show up. We finally got the calipers. Turns out 73 B-body calipers do not work. And we'll show you real quick. So, this is a 73 B-body, like a charger or whatever. The Kelsey Hayes uh, pin type. Now they say on Big Block Dart and all those other forums that, oh, that's, that's what you need, 73. But the problem is this, I can't quite get over there. This, where the hose goes in, hits the lower control arm right here. And there's one guy on a forum that's like, yeah, you can't use those. But everywhere else says you can use 73 to and up B-body disc brakes. It hits it's, right there? It's, no, it's right, right here hey. on the lower control arm. And that's bad? Yeah. Oh, okay. And now, so we, we ordered 72, which they say 72s don't work, but the one guy said 72 charger caliper, 70 to 72, or 70 to 74 e-body like CUDA yep. Challenger, will bolt right up to the 73 spindle, which you have to use because ball joint something whatever. But these, you can get under here. These have clearance. Clearance. So, that's fun. Had to wait another week for these because nobody has them. But for the master cylinder, we're using a, uh, uh, it's from ordered it from Dr. Diff. This, I think it's a Jeep Wrangler. It has a 15 16 bore and it came with this cool adapter plate to go from the four stud old Mopar and the, to the two stud modern type. And while we were in here, just kind of sprayed this up. It's starting to corrode a little bit. And I put some rust converter primer stuff on there. But we'll get this on. I, it looked like the, the hoses are the same fittings. Should work out for four-wheel disc brakes. I think if you use a different proportioning valve, you can also use it with two-wheel uh, discs in the front and then drums in the back. Audio mic. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Not the gumdrop buttons! <laughs> Come on, Gigi! We have what right. to do! Check it out, I'm trying to work. I'm good! Ah. Ah. What up, old man? Well, this is the fifth time we will bench bleed a master cylinder and try to bleed the brakes, so. Hey, uh, why is it the fifth? Because I think there's an internal problem with that master cylinder. Yeah, yeah, Brand new, has a problem. It's great, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good time. Could you call that bad from stock? Yeah. Or, this just isn't working. I don't know, one or the other. We're gonna try this first, before. That was bright. Don't look at it. <laughs> there it is. Daddy lost it. Oh, I was getting close, man. Oh. So currently, this is what we have. We have uh, 1974 to 1976 upper control arm. So like Dart, Valiant, whatever. I don't know, did they make a Valiant in 76? They probably did. Uh, 77, not 74, 73 to 76 upper control arm A body. 73 to 76 A body lower control arm, lower ball joint. 73 B body spindle with 72 B body Calipers with 73 B body rotors. 72332223 B A B B O. And a master Tall. cylinder from a 1990 Dodge Dakota. Ew. And a rear end from a 95 Explorer. Wait, you mixing Mopar and Ford? Oh. Oh, we're just we're doing all the things that you're not supposed to do. And I forgot to put a belt on, so it's just been going great. My pants sliding off. I see one. Sure. I'm helping. I'm helping. Are you? Are you really ever helping? I'm the uh, comedic relief. Oh yeah, something like that. <laughs> Let's go with that. I'm from Lambert. I'm here to help. And the nine most dangerous, what was the nine scariest words in the English language uh, from the government? And I'm here to help. 
I thought it was, my name is Doug and I'm here to help. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty bad too. There's a light. mosquito, get away. Is he gonna suck on that? But we do have a drive shaft in it. We didn't show that yet, but we will. Am I gonna let? Spoilers. Duh, no. Duh. All right, let's fill the match for Princess Abby and Dun 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 dun. Filling it everywhere. How you know it's got fluid in it? It's coming out. What's my stuff for? Ow. Ow. Did you just look at it? Ow. Oh. Would you look at this? Would you just look at it? Just look at it. Look at this. Look at that. Look at it. Okay. Uh. I don't know how to bleed a message over there. Pick up these little clear hoses. There's multiple fittings that come in here, metric. Blues are metric, reds are standard. And then you, you can do it on a bench if you really want to, or you can just. And then you just stick that on there. Keep the, all right, I'll just use the other one. They're too far apart. Sometimes you can use one to hold both. So the way to do it on a bench or a vise or something is you just take the uh, where's it at? the plunger and you stick like a screwdriver or something and just poke it a bunch of times and you'll see it come out. But we're already set up here. So, my so the plunger trusty. will be the brake pedal? What? The plunger will be the brake pedal? What? Brake pedal? Yeah, using the brake pedal. So my trusty camera guy is going to watch that and tell me when it stops bubbling everywhere. <laughs> the last time we tried to do this, it took forever. You trust me? No. I wouldn't. I was going to try to do it with my arm. I'll just sit in here. Oh. Love oh. shack. Kinds of bubbles? Oh yeah. Ooh, you're almost there. What you doing? Well, for the 47th time today, I'm changing a master cylinder. Who's that chump I had? I had a cup. The CUP? So we're thinking the reason the brakes won't pump up is because the bore diameter of this one is too small. This one's 15 16ths, and we got a, I think, a 1 and 1 32nd, maybe? I don't know. It's bigger. So this one's out of a out of a Dakota, and this that one's out of a Dakota, and this one's out of a what was it? 80 D100. Uh, yeah, the new one is out of an 80 D100. This one's out of a Dakota. Okay. And we already went through a half a gallon of brake fluid today, so I'm trying to save some of it, maybe. <laughs> oh wow, that's quite a bit bigger. Oh wow, good side by side. Oh, almost dropped it. He's a tonk. He's a tonk. He hasn't even scared our dead load, y'all. Is there any way that that could come out? There's no way that that could come out. Do you want to try to stick to this language? No, not really. Yeah. Let's see. Let's 
see how bad it makes it. The old one did not have one, so. The original? Yeah. Is that what that body is? No. Yeah, this one. That's the original. Well, These are the multiple attempts of the day. Again. Yeah. I kind of hate bleeding bricks. I'm what? Jeez. That's gross. Bleeding bricks is about the funnest thing I can do at 1130 at night on a Friday. Uh -huh. Happy Friday. <laughs> All the stupid kids out there spinning their Language. youth away. Jesus, what the F word? I know, I didn't, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Language! You can't use any of this. <laughs> you said I gotta speak more. You do. Forget you don't know anything besides. <laughs> bother, 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 bother. <laughs> Alright kids, ready to go bother John? Bother, bother, bother. Hey, Harry, you want to go bother Snape? <laughs> oh, that's pretty spot on. I love how I'm getting brake fluid all over the paint. It's, I don't know if you know this or not, but it's really good for it. Helps it breathe. I don't think most people call skin paint or whatever. It's definitely not good for your skin. Jeez, <laughs> what are you thinking? What if the whole time it was like the reservoir was leaking or something? And it just magically works? You know, I don't like your negativity. Wait, no, that'd be a good thing. It was, either way. I don't care what it is, as long as it works. That's it. Alright, I'm gonna put you guys down, and I'm gonna go inside the car and have fun. Gross. Mother, mother. Stay tuned for the other side. I still gotta do that. All right, pump the brakes a little bit. Okay, air's gone. Where do you think you're going? Actually, with this, uh, as much bleeding as we did with the rest of the system, it should be pretty close. Yeah. There it goes. I was a little nervous there for a second. It didn't act like it didn't want to throw it in there. Ooh. The only problem with that light is it makes it hard to see where the lens is. I don't know where to look. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? You fuzzy little man peach. Easy now, fuzzy little man peach. You ever drunk Bailey's from a shoe? You ever go to a club where they wee on each other? Do you like me? Did you land it on me? Okay, for the 47th time. Are we going to pump you up? I'm going to pump you up. Okay. Do we or do we not know the Muffin Man? at this point in time where uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor of the day, our wallets, for funding all of our terrible ideas. I mean, technically, I mean, Americans sponsored me, they paid me to work for them, right? 
Um. Kind of. Um. I think it'd be pretty cool to get paid to do this. Yeah, it'd be a lot cooler. Airplanes are stupid. But, you know, they pay my bills. What are you, Destiny's Child? <laughs> Asking somebody to pay your bills? They're trying to tell you. You ever gonna stop working on this car? No. You ever gonna fix it? No. Never. This is what we got. And I'm gonna put a thing up on the screen with all the parts listed. We have, these rotors are from a 73. The rotor and spindle is from a 73 and up B body. The calipers are from a 70 to 72 B body like a charger or 70 to 74 Challenger Cuda and E body. The upper control arm, oh, that's nice, that's split, that's good. Uh, the upper control arm is from a 73 to 76 A body, like a duster or dart, and the just same thing with the lower ball joint. And what we did is we just took some big grade 8 bolts and, oh no, my battery died, uh, and put them through and then cut the bolt off so it is flush. Uh, that works-ish, I think. And here's the drive shaft in there. I don't know if it's actually going to work or not, but we're going to try it just to kind of drive it around the block for now. So the the drive shaft was just about an inch too long, and we uh, we cut it out. How do you think this is going to go? It's going to go great. We cut a section of it out. It's going to vibrate like hell, but we're going to drive it. Yeah. You know, there's a drive shaft shop said 60 bucks, and we're like, well, eh, we're just cutting an inch out. Be fine. And then I used a the Explore upper arm or the upper what do you call it brake line, and it actually went threaded right into the factory Barracuda one, and this is all the factory 8.8 .8 line. I'm gonna tidy it up here in a little bit. This shock mount is not gonna work unless we move the one up here because where it hangs. It's kind of at an awkward angle. This needs to be kind of more tilted this way than that way. Uh, but I'm gonna go get some wheels and throw them on there. Oh, I need to put oil in here. I need to put oil in the diff. I need to put oil in it. John, put oil in it. Okay, we're gonna put oil in there. Go get the wheels, test fit the wheels, see if they work, and then we might drive it tonight. So these are old Krager eliminators. Uh, we're gonna take these off of the cutest little pickup in the world for the Barracuda to get these off real quick. One thing to note on old Mopars before, you know, 1970, 1971, the lug nuts on the driver's side, everything goes to the back. So they are reverse thread. And you can see right there. Yeah, it says L. The left hand thread so you put it in the tightening direction to take the lugs off weird well that's not gonna work but I will say it looks pretty cool on there I didn't put the front on yet we're gonna take it over to our favorite tire shop O'Brien and uh, Get a smaller tire, see how that goes. All right, so we got the wheels on and uh, it's it's pretty low, it looks really good, but we took it for a drive last night and it is very, very sketchy to drive. The brakes work, which is good, but uh, I think the toes out, the camber's too much. I mean, it felt like both wheels were gonna fall off and it's a little bit sketchy. So. We're gonna put it back up in the air, try to raise up the suspension in the front. The back's pretty good, but we'll try to raise up the suspension in the front and align it out a little bit and see how that does. Well, we're back on the ground. It doesn't look as good as it did super low, but man, that looks cool. Those wheels really, really make it look neat. Also, 
I don't know if you've seen the uh, the Hemi under glass, the old Hurst uh, wheel standing car, but these are like the modern day, bigger version of these wheels. We're gonna go take it out and see if we fixed it. We raised it up. It's back to 15 turns on the uh, torsion bar adjuster, and we kind of adjusted the toe. Well, we'll see. Holy cow, that looks good. Go to real at some point. It looks like a whole hot rod now. Well, we're gonna take it to the car wash, spray it off real quick, and oh my gosh, look at that. Those wheels are cool. Holy right, cow. Quit making them. I don't know. Oh, wow. It's a little dusty in there, doesn't it? Yeah. better cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, that's just from the shop. That's is yucky. All them trains going by, shaking the building loose. That windshield real good. Ah, a little bit of mist. Beautiful. Alright, here we go. Oh, leaving the car wash. Four wheel disc brakes. Yeah. It's about time. Now this car has fought us this whole time. But it's worth it. So it has a little eight and three quarter in it now. No, eight. Eight point eight. Eight eight. Sorry. Has an eight eight in it. Three seventy three gears. Four wheel disc brakes. Narrow at eight eight. It's like a brand new car now. Narrowed by JJ Speed Shop, I might add. Yeah. <clears throat> car has uh, no rear shocks on it right now. Uh, <laughs> not sketchy at all. <laughs> It does Except bounce point. up and down, kind of like a Cheech and Chong car, but it's cool. Everything's fine. Man, it stops though. This is the important stuff. You make it stop, make sure it's all safe, then you make it go fast. Yeah. Because the old days of 400 horsepower with four-wheel drum brakes, sketchy suspension, bad ball joints. Yeah. 
It's just dumb. Yeah. Ah. Let's see real quick. All right. My favorite part of this car is just. Oh come on. Yeah, we need shocks on the back of this. A bit sketchy. But you know, you get your arm out the window, right here, and it's just a neat looking dash. Yeah. I need to fix that part. Make that all one. Oh yeah. So we did this last year. It's not the way the factory did it, but I think it looks cool. Well, that about wraps it up for this one. Uh, the car drives really well now and stops pretty good. That was that was kind of difficult. But the next time you see this car, we're probably going to pull the slant six out through a 383 and a four speed in it because we just can't leave anything alone. Because because you'll hit the power the power pedal. Yeah, the, the loud, loud pedal. pedal. But the, it's the, it looks God. so good. I mean, it, I just can't get over it. Let me try to show you a little bit. It'll be fast. It just looks so good. <laughs> I love those wheels. I do too. It, Crager, why'd you quit making them wheels? Yeah, Crager, why'd you quit making them? I can't get over how good it looks. We'll never fix that, but we'll talk about it one time. And those are 17s, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it just needs a little more power to really just put it over the edge because it already has the hot rod look but yeah look at that you guys always pull out some 